All right, <laughs> against the odds time, <laughs> five color bring the light coalition victory in modern, and we have Eldertron. Uh, well, let's just Misty, crack Misty. Let's just get a forest to not take the damage. Suspend Surge for tomorrow's. Pass the turn. Well, we're going to be able to do some serious ramping. If we live long enough, it could be pretty good. Foundry Street, going to get in for two. And we can start chumping with Secure Tribe Elder, which is nice. Search counts down. All right, let's Misty, crack Misty, get a forest. Secure Tribe Elder, pass the turn. So I think we can r get the mana set for Coalition Victory pretty quickly, but we're going to need a creature. Oh, Wrath of God on top? Oh, that means we can't sack our Sakura Tribe Elder. Well, we can. Let's just block and... Let's just block and sack. Uh, so let's get... I guess a Plains here. Take four. Search. Counts down. We get another land. Let's get... The Swamp? <laughs> another Coalition victory. Alright, Solemn Simulacrum. Searches out a land. We'll get another Plains in case we draw Wrath. Steam Vents. Tapped, pass the turn. So we need a five color creature. Mog Fanatic pumps up the crew. Uh, we definitely don't want Coalition Victory. Let's just block Foundry Street, take four, draw a card. Ugh, that's the Coalition Victory. Wrath? Bring to light? Gifts. Uh, alright. Secure Tribe Elder, and I think we just gotta pass and try to gifts for Wraths. I hopefully, maybe. When it goes to attacks, uh, bring the light on top, a little late. Sack secure tribe elder, get an island. Problem is we're dead to goblin. Oh no, we're not dead to goblin grenade. Well, let's give sun given. Bring the light, snapcaster mage. Yeah, let's get eternal witness. Bring the light, snapcaster mage, eternal witness, and wrath of God. That means we get a wrath one way or another. I guess they could also have double bolt. Let's just Wrath of God. When it pings us down to five, uh, we might just be dead. If they have another bolt, we don't have a way to deal with that. If we live one more turn though, Secure Tribe Elder go. Then we can like Snapcaster, bring to light Thrag Tusk. Calvin Marauders. One, two, one, two. Oh, well, I think we can stay alive here. Let's sack Secure Tribe Elder, another island. Then we. Snapcaster Mage, Flashback, Bring to Light, Bring to Light, Red, Green, White, Black, Blue, so five colors, get our Thrag Tusk, go back up to six, and pass the turn, oh we're so close, Marauders ticks down, we're still, like Goblin Grenade could be problematic, like Creature plus Goblin Grenade, and we have Mono Coalition Victories in hand. Bushwhacker, sure. Not especially problematic. Tax with wolf, okay. So we block and block, drop back to five. We get a beast, our opponent deals a damage. So we're back to five. Come on, bring to light, or five colored creature, or cryptic would be nice. Well, one, two, three, cast search for tomorrow's, get a mountain. One, two, three, cast search for tomorrow's, get a forest forest go well we got all the mana in the world but we're still close to just dying to goblin grenade foundry street come on five color creature oh oh god uh well we'll stop on our opponent's upkeep that that was a hell of a draw that might just mean we win so we'll stop on our opponent's upkeep and rev x a million which puts us way out of danger of dying rev x8 pretty good Whoo! There's some five color creatures. Can we win next turn? I think we can. Oh, I think we got it on our first game. <laughs> One, two. Oh, and our opponent scoops it up. No! Did we have the mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, this is eight and four. So we had exactly the right mana to Transguild Courier plus Coalition Victory. Oh, I, we could have done it! Scavenging you seems decent. Lightning Bolt as another removal spell. This deck is crazy. Yeah, let's just run it like this. Oh, uh, well, we got our we we got our Hive Lord. Just a matter of putting it all together. <laughs> 
Sliver Hive Lord in a non-sliver deck is, uh, cracks me up. So funny. Mog Fanatic leads things off. Now let's just Misty, Crack It, Forest, and Suspend, Search for Tomorrows. Pass the turn. Ooh, Dragon Fodder, going wide. That's gonna make Bushwhackers pretty scary. And we're still a little bit away from Cryptic. Not next turn, but the following turn being Cryptic. Uh, Polluted Delta. All right, let's just Suspend Search for Tomorrow's Polluted Delta go. So we need black and red mana. Plus we wanna make sure Cryptic comes down next turn. Ooh, no Whacker's good. Down to 15, another Dragon Fodder. All right, Crack Delta, get, yeah, let's just get Watery Grave. Search, counts down, search, counts down. I think we got to get an island here, though, to leave Cryptic up. Oh, we don't even have an island, so we can't leave Cryptic up. Uh, well, in that case, I guess we just get a mountain. All right, Hollowed Fountain, tapped. Pass the turn. Not having enough islands, or having all our islands in our hand is pretty bad. If they have a whacker here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and dead. All right, well, we, we're on the draw, and we didn't have Cryptic mana. All right, let's run it back. And, all right, Sliver Hive Lord. Silver Hive Lord is a pretty good wall. So Forest Go, or Forest Suspend, Search for Tomorrow's Go. Foundry Street for our opponent. Search, counts down. Ooh, that's a rev. Well, you we want to be able to cast that as well. Let's Misty Rainforest, crack it, get an island. Sakura Tribe Elder, Go. I think we can set it up to have turn three Hive Lord, which is pretty big. Another Foundry Street and a Goblin Guide. Well, we get to see what's on top. We're pro we gotta shuffle it away anyway, but. Solemn on top, eh, sorry Solemn. So block, sack elder, get a planes. The man in this deck is pretty confusing. Search, get a, yeah, swamp is fine. Forest, and thrag tusk. Puts us back to 22, creates a awesome blocker. Dragon fodder, sure. Pumps up the foundry streets. And another Goblin Guide. Well, our opponent is going super wide, but they gotta be about out of action. We're taking a lot here. Do we have a land on top? Or two? Coalition victory. Ugh. Alright, let's block a Goblin Guide. Take 10. Down to 12. Breeding Pool untapped. Pass the turn. So we can Rev X3, and then hopefully Sliver Hive Lord next turn. We need the red mana. Opponent goes to attacks. Oh, there's a mountain. Alright, so let's, let's block goblin guide and then rev because if we wait then we're in a position where we could die to double lightning bolt still goblin grenades can be bad all right down to nine do they really have two goblin grenades are you serious all right double goblin grenade can't really do much about that all right <laughs> against odds time five color bring to light coalition victory in modern and I don't think we can keep a one-lander with this deck. All right, this one we can keep. Temple Garden, tapped, goo. We need mana to cast the first Bring to Light. Scalding Tarn, cracks it. Steam Vents, and Serm Visions. Uh, bottom top. All right, let's go Stomping Grounds, untapped. Sakura Tribe Elder, pass the turn. Ooh, this is blue-white-red control. Well, let's get in with our Elder. Misty, pass the turn. Ghost Quarter. All right, let's crack our Misty, get a Watery Grave, tapped. Yeah, that one damage probably doesn't really matter. Get an Island, Forest, and let's go for it. Green, blue, black, red, white. Bring to light, X5. Ooh, it resolved. Well, in that case, I think we just get Karanos. There's Remand on Karanos. Well, we have Karanos in hand now for next turn. <laughs> Nahiri is bad though. Nahiri means they exile Karanos. I don't even know why they bother remanding if that's their plan. Scalding Tarn. Ancestral suspended. Well, let's Misty and Karanos. Resolves. See if it just gets wrecked by a Nahiri. That's that's what I'm mostly worried about. Nahiri Oh man, that's so depressing. I'm expecting it. I'm expecting Nahiri exile Karanos. And then I'm probably gonna cry. Uh, Nahiri. Yep. Well, that's fun. This is a matchup that we have bribery for. Um, we want a duel of some kind. I guess we can get Hollowed Fountain. We just don't have anything going on now. Forest, go. Ancestral, ticks down. Loots with Nahiri. They're gonna have an Ancestral in two turns. They discard Supreme Verdict. It's another Serum Visions. Serum Visions, number three. And opponent passes. Island, go. Yeah, we don't have anything going on. 
I'm tempted just to scoop, because our odds of winning from here are essentially zero. I mean, technically it's not zero, but we don't have a way of beating Nahiri, and they gotta have hands full of counter spells, and they just draw three with Ancestral. Uh, Nahiri takes up, opponent's discarding more stuff. Lightning Bolt down. <laughs> We've drawn land so many turns in a row. Hopefully they just Emrakul. If they don't Emrakul, then I'm going to scoop. Because we also don't have a way of beating that. <sighs> Alright, we'll give them one more turn, and then if they don't Emrakul, I'm... Oh, they have to discard the Emrakul. Alright, they drew into their Emrakul. I mean, we can cast another Bring to Light, but... Seems unlikely to resolve, or the card we get from it resolve. I guess we just gotta get Cryptic, Bounce Nahiri, try to draw a card. This is where the counters should start coming in. Yep. Alright. Now we're scooping. Oh, uh, it's gonna be really hard to pull off the combo in this matchup, but we got some stuff we can bring in. We can get rid of Paths, which are dead. Get rid of Noxious Revival. Get rid of Explore. Dark Petition. Wrath in Wrath and try it like that. And one land, we gotta scoop or ship that one. Ugh, this isn't much better. Hey, Pluto Delta Goo, Flooded Strand. All right, let's crack this. Get an Overgrown Tomb. Thought Seize. Well, let's just take the Snapcaster. Play the Plains Goo. So I get to remand our first play, but. We can't play anything for a long time. We need two more lands before we can even try to play anything. Another Flooded Strand. Second second Trans Guild Courier. This isn't looking too good. This isn't a deck that we can just give time to draw cards to. Throws off a bolt. Cracks the Fetch Land. Gets a Hollowed Fountain. Not having any ramp makes this deck really, really slow. Uh, well... I guess we can make our opponent spend their spell snare, which I'm sure they will. Yup. I think if they find and play Nahiri, we probably just scoop. I guess it's not impossible. We draw lands. We do have Bring to Light for Bribery, potentially. We know our opponent has Remand and Path. Well, last time we drew a Mono Lands. This time we cannot buy a land. Uh, our opponent, though, they have drawn a lot of lands in a row. <laughs> Oh, magic and the variants. Last time, I swear, at turn 8, we had drawn lands every single turn. This game, heading into turn 7, we have not drawn a single land. Now well, there's a land. Ever so close, slowly getting closer to doing something. We have a negate now available, but our opponent has a remand. Alright, crack this. I guess we kind of have a very slight chance. Get an island. We negate Nahiri. Our opponent's going to remand. Oh, they drew a spell snare? Ugh. Oh, that's that's bad. That means our chance is probably gone. Discards a path. Well, we have to draw a land this turn to play Solemn to have any chance. We draw Snapcaster. Well, I guess we can Snapcaster Thoughtseize? If they drew another spell snare. Alright, no spell snare. Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize our opponent. Still probably going to be too slow. I mean, we almost have to just take Crumble? Because then they crumble our land, and then we cannot do anything? I think we have to. That feels absolutely horrible, but we can't let them crumble our our Overgrown Tomb. Even though it's just destroy a land. Alright, Dispel, Remand, One Unknown, Bottom, and Top. Do they draw a Removal Spell? Do we draw land? So many questions. Alright, let's get in at Nahiri. Land, and... Solemn. Gets remanded, I'm sure. Yep. Once they draw a removal spell, they're going to be able to keep us from pressuring Nahiri at all. Discards another land. Plays land. What is this? Elspeth? Oh, that means Emrakul isn't even really an out. Elspeth makes tokens. Alright, and then we, we die to Emrakul. Oh, that was not good. Against the odds. Five color, bring to light, coalition victory, got our trans guild courier. Missing its text. Technically, this is all colors. The paper version does say that. The moto version does not. So we don't have green mana, but we have our Boseju. Oh, is this Tron? Oh, God. Uh, our odds of beating Tron seem extremely slim. Green mana? Maybe? Well, 
Another Trans Guild Courier. I guess we can go on five color beatdown with Trans Guild Courier. There's the tower and Chromatic Star. Uh, Mountain. <laughs> when we least are, are least likely to need until we cast a Coalition Victory. Which might never happen against Tron. Another tower, Expedition Map, so they're getting pretty close to assembling Tron. Sliver Hive Lord. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Crack's Expedition Map gets a Tron piece. This deck really needs ramp to function very well. Once they have Tron and play something big, well, other than like Worm Coil, then I just don't think we can win. Uh, alright. Scooping. I'm not gonna discard and let our opponent see like Trans Guild Courier or something. So, what do we have? Briberies could be good. Thought Seizes seem good. Negates also seem good. Stony Silences seem good. Things that seem bad. Noxious Revival. Pa maybe Path to Exile. Wrath of God. Supreme Verdict. Probably gotta cut Dark Petition and Karano since it gets Karned. Might have to trim a Coalition Victory. Not really a card we want to draw multiple copies of. Explore. Yeah, let's cut a Bring to Light. We cut a lot of our targets, so. So ramping into Bribery could be good. We have Bribery Double Thought Seize, but we can't cast anything. Oh my god. Well, I guess we get to Scry? And if we have a Sakura Tribe Elder on turn two, it could be good. Uh, Alright, bring the light to the bottom. <laughs> this match is going to go horribly. Steam Vents go. Urza's Mine, Chromatic Star. Alright, we, we got there, sort of. Sakura Tribe Elder, pass the turn. We do still need more mana. I guess we can get a Swamp and Thought Seize. Is probably necessary. Ancient Stirrings is Tron Assembled. Mine, alright. Well, they could have Tron in hand. Chromatic Sphere. Alright, let's crack Sakura Tribe Elder, get our Swamp. Lands? Watery Grave is a good one. Let's... Hmm. Do we take our chances? Alright, let's Watery Grave untapped. Pass the turn. Oh! Come on, no Tron! And we can Gifts! If they can't play something huge this turn, we can Gifts into Bribery. Alright, they do not have Tron this turn. Well, they have Tron this turn, but don't have the mana. And Spell Skite. Alright. Well, we're going to resolve a bribery. Gifts Ungiven, targeting our opponent. We get Misty Rainforest, Polluted Delta, Windswept Teeth, and Island? Eh, let's get a Plains. Alright, opponent, give us some mana. Now, we hope they don't just untap and, like, Karn whatever big thing we get. Alright, we get a land. Two lands. Untap, Plains, Bribery... Oh, give us something good! Oh god. All the Karns are in their library, though. Ugin doesn't do it. I guess Perilous Vault could do it. If they, with another Tron piece, which they have. Alright. Emrakul, go! <laughs> they need, they don't have a Karn in hand, we know that. Two Perilous Vaults were in their deck. Hopefully there's not another Perilous Vault in hand. Are we gonna get there with the, with the briberied Emrakul? Yes! Oh, bribery was good enough! <laughs> Just barely. Oh, it's it's sad that we briberied an Emrakul and still weren't convinced we were going to win that game. Uh, Alright, let's run it back. Oh man, if I knew we were drawing a white source, I would probably keep... Oh lord. Okay. Trans Guild Courier to the bottom. The old can't cast anything hand. Well, Secure Tribe Elder's not bad. At least it ramps us. Cracks it. If they get a fast Tron, though, still bad news. All right, Forest is not a Tron piece. They have Scrying, Spellskite. Whew! All right, well, maybe this is a slow draw. We get to get a tapped Breeding Pool. Swamp and Sakura Tribe Elder. Chromatic Star. Cracks it. Chromatic Sphere. Ooh, and no land. All right, let's crack Sakura Tribe Elder. Get... I think we just get an island here. Even though it doesn't help with our five colorness, but yeah, let's just mount in, pass the turn, leave up gifts. Opponent cracks it, expedition map, and chromatic sphere. Well, let's gifts ungiven, targeting our opponent, and get black, green, blue, black. All right, bribery, bring delight, stony silence, and a plains. 
I think they have to dump Stony Silence because they need their artifacts, but that means they give us a bribery or a bring to light for a bribery. Maybe, I don't know what they give us. Bring to light and planes. All right, that works. So we planes, white, red, blue, black, and green. Bring to light. Get our second copy of bribery. Cast bribery, targeting our opponent. Get, um, I guess just Ulamog will have to do. And pass the turn. Ulamog's still pretty good. It eats away their library pretty quick. They took out the Emrakul specifically to not get briberied. Cracks a Chromatic Sphere. Are we really going to beat Tron? We have no business beating Tron. Oh, we got there! Oh, all right, sideboard bribery. Good. <laughs> Sweet. All right, <laughs> against odds time, five color bring delight. Coalition Vic. Tori. No ramp, two lands, on the play. But we have Supreme Verdict as a reset button, if we can get to it. Seachrome Coast and Sleight of Hand. Um, Ad Nauseam would be my guess. Alright, that's land. Forest Goo. Serum Visions. One on top, one to the bottom. And Temple of Enlightenment. And Lotus Bloom Suspended. Alright, well, Steam Vents tapped. Pass the turn. Problem is our hand isn't great against this deck. We don't have a lot of ways to interact. Oh, there's Phyrexian on life. All right, it is the Ad Nauseam deck. Well, let's crack this. Let's get Watery Grave in case we want a Cryptic. Island and... <laughs> All right. Trans Guild Courier in the wild. All colors achieved. We're still a ways away from Coalition Victory, though. Hard to imagine... I, I expect that we just die next turn when this Lotus Bloom comes down. Sleight of Hand. I don't know if we can bring the light for anything relevant. We can bring the light X4, which probably means, like, Solemn or something. Which, after so many cantrips, we're probably still dead. <laughs> no other Serum Visions. They gotta have the perfect hand. Oh my god. That is one... Two, three Sleight of Hands and three Serum Visions. They have to have everything they need to combo off. What are the chances they do that and don't have it? Uh, Thrag Tusk, gaining a little bit of life isn't really relevant. So I think we're just going to bring to light X4. I don't think there's anything we can get that really matters, but we might as well try. I guess we can Cryptic Bounce Phyrexian Unlife, which doesn't necessarily do it. So just bounce, Phyrexian on life, draw a card. Because uh, if they have a land, they can still just replay it. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to get in with Trans Guild Courier. Opponent's down to 17. <laughs> Lotus Bloom comes down. I mean, now we just X6 and expect to die. Whoa! Ad Nauseam without Angel's Grace? Oh, wait. Did they resolve an Angel's Grace? Oh, they did. <laughs> Never mind. It shot through really quick why we F6. Uh okay. <laughs> so we're dead. Uh do we even have anything that matters? Well negates and thought seizes or something. Better than our creature removal, which is nothing. Um guess we can get rid of Noxious Revival. Bribery isn't good. Guess we can go down a coalition victory. Probably a trans guild courier. They don't really have too many ways to disrupt us. Spellskite, I don't think can save us, really. Yeah, we'll go down the Explorer for Stony Silence and try it like that. All right, we get to play first. Ay. We have Search on turn one. If we can draw land and Sakura Tribe Elder on turn two, this hand is decent in this matchup. If we don't, I mean, we have 25 lands left in our deck, so we're almost 50-50. Because Thought Seas and Cryptic are actually real cards in this matchup, and we don't have very many real cards. Come on, land. Search counts down, land, please. Uh, Ancient Grudge isn't the worst draw. Dark Slug Shores and Serum Visions. And Slate of Hand. And Lotus Bloom suspended. All right, I think we just get Swamp here. Get a Swamp. Do we draw land? All right, we do. So we get to Thought Seize our opponent. Oi. Ad nauseum, ad nauseum, lightning storm, unlife, unlife, gemstone mine. Uh, right. Phyrexian unlife. 
Play secure a tribe elder. Pass the turn. Yeah, their hand is stacked. Lotus Bloom is ticking down. We do get to try to keep them off mana, is probably our best bet with the Ancient Grudge, and just hope they don't draw lands too quickly. Alright, Temple of Deceit. I... That means they might just have enough lands to do this naturally. Alright, let's sack this. How many turns do we have on this? Two? We really want blue mana for Cryptic. Uh, let's get a Mountain. Um, yeah, let's play Trans Guild Courier. We're not going to get the blue we need for Cryptic by the looks. Lotus Bloom down to one. There's the Unlife. So if we could bounce the Unlife, then we'd have a shot. Well, let's get in with Trans Guild Courier. Search for tomorrow's for an island. Pass the turn. So we gotta hope our opponent just doesn't have the mana. Seems unlikely. Lotus Bloom, down. So we get to Ancient Grudge, Lotus Bloom. But if they have a land, they still just add Nauseam and win. I guess they just add Nauseam now and win. Alright, that seems like a bad matchup. Alright, against the odds time. Ugh, Mulligan. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I guess we keep. Well, this one is probably not going to go well. Mull to five. Keep a single planes. At least we can see what our opponent's up to. Oh, uh, Bogles? Well then. This probably isn't a good matchup anyway. Temple Garden untapped. Spirit Dancer. Gets in 4-1. Alright, I'm scooping. We're just not ever going to cast a spell. Alright, Spell Sky is key. Thought Seize isn't bad on the play. And maybe Negates. Going down Dark Petition. Going down Karanos. Going down Path to Exile. Explore. Coalition Victory. And a Solemn. Try it like that. Alright, we get to play first. And alright, well, we don't have the cards that are really good in this matchup, but... We do have cards. So I think we just Misty Rainforest Goo. I guess it's possible we just ramp into the win. Glade Cover Scout. All right, let's crack this. Green, black, red, blue. I think we need something with white. Let's get a Temple Garden. And then Island and Sakura Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. Let's see what our opponent has. I mean, we got some ramping. So we could, I don't think it's impossible, depending on our draws, that we could get back into it. Ethereal Armor. Hopefully not Rancor. Keen Sense. Alright. Well, we get to block and sack. So our opponent doesn't do any damage, doesn't get to draw. And I guess we can get black, we got white, blue. I guess just more blue, maybe, is fine. Uh, planes. Well, let's cast Search for Tomorrows. Get a Swamp. Polluted Delta. Pass the turn. Spirit Mantle, Pro Creatures, so it's going to make Chumping challenging. Let's get a Overgrown Tomb. Down to 13. Our opponent gets to draw. So Wrath is good. Bring to Light is good. Bring to Light for Wrath. Temple Garden untapped, and uh, now Wrath is less good. And another land. Breeding Pool go. Now we're most likely just dead. Man, sometimes we draw a lot of lands. Gets in 4-7. Draws a card. Coronet. Yeah, we're, I think we're just drawing dead here. Oh, we have it. 2-1, 2-3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh. <laughs> but we're just too slow. All right, against the odds. Oh, all right, we got the Bring Delight. That's a start. I guess we keep Misty. So Bring Delight can get us our <laughs> Sliver Overlord. Oh, God. This is probably Restore Balance. I do not know about this. Hallowed Fountain, go. Gargadon, Suspended Forest. I'm just not sure we're going to be fast enough to stop the Restore Balance. Well, there's Sakura Tribe Elder. That actually helps. Elder, Misty Rainforest, go. So at least that gets us to Cryptic Command mana. And then we just got to leave up Cryptic Command, I think is the plan. All right, let's sack Sakura Tribe Elder. Get an island. Oh, no. Oh, border post, okay. Woo! Not restore balance. So let's crack Misty, get a blue, let's get watery grave. Forest, go. Now we gotta be really careful to leave up cryptic command. Gargadon, counting down. This could be the one. Another border post. Man, Stony Silence is so good against this deck. 
The problem we're going to have is we don't have many counters main deck. So let's go Planes, Sakura Tribe Elder, Sack Sakura Tribe Elder, get an island. Pass the turn. We'd also, we wouldn't mind finding a Snapcaster, because then we could stop two instead of just one. Another border post. Riftwing exiled. Uh, Misty Goo. Next turn, I think we can bring to light and still leave up Cryptic. What we bring to light for, I'm not 100% sure. Another border post. All right, let's Misty get a Steam Vents. What's the best? Do we just bring to light for Dark Petition for Snapcaster? Breeding Pool untapped. Blue, green, white, black, red. We still have cryptic mana. Bring to light. Let's get gifts. Cast gifts. Get Snapcaster, Noxious Revival, Eternal Witness. Uh, maybe. Will we be able to tap out though? Well, let's just do that and then get another bring to light. Because I don't know if we can really tap out for Sinx's Revelation. The problem is our opponent is getting close to the point where they're going to be able to double up on Restore Balance, two Cascade spells in a turn. And right now we can't stop that. They dump the Bring Delight. All right, gives us Eternal Witness and the Noxious Revival. So that's past the turn. We got to hope they don't have multiple Cascade spells. I don't think we can beat multiple Cascade spells. Swamp. So we know our opponent has two basics in hand. Ooh, March of the Machines? This could actually work out for us. All right, March of the Machines resolves. That is an odd choice. <laughs> our opponent, I think they punted because they're going to lose all their stuff. I mean, we're not going to let it resolve, although it's tempting. So I think we just kip cryptic, counter target spell, counter draw. Path isn't bad. We are really going to stick it to our opponent here. Because we can Noxious Revival, <laughs> Noxious Revival, Bring Delight, Bring Delight for a Wrath. So that's Noxious Revival, Targeting, Bring Delight for two life. But now, uh, white, green, blue, red, black. Bring Delight, X5. Get a Wrath of God. Cast a Wrath of God. <laughs> Our opponent hoisted by their own petard. <laughs> uh, and we save them from their restore balance. So now I think we need to Eternal Witness, get back Gifts. Now we just want to assemble the combo. Now I'm not especially afraid of dying. So they're far away from restore balance even if they want to. Although they are going to have a Cloud Skate and then a Gargadon at some point. We did use all our ways to get things back from the graveyard. That's true. All right, here comes Cloud Skate. Uh, okay. I don't know why they want that in hand. No, they're trying to rebuild. All right, take two from Cloudskate. Well, let's explore. Draw a card. Forest. Cast Search for Tomorrows. Get a Swamp, I guess. Pass the turn. No attacks. Oh, man. We could have the mana to do it, too. I don't know if our opponent will let us gift for it, though. If we had our ways to get things back from the graveyard, it would be easier. They're going to have Restore Balance mana again next turn, and we don't have a way to stop it. Oh, down to 10. Well, let's gifts. I'm not sure what we get here. <laughs> Look at that gifts pile. They dump Sliver Hive Lord. All right, we get Transguild Courier. So I think we go for it. We path to exile our Eternal Witness. We have four copies of Coalition Victory in our deck. If we draw one, we pull it off. And it's a forest. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god! I think we did it! I think we did it! We gotta make sure we leave the mana right. So, wait, no. Black mana. Do we have enough black? We have black from Dark Petition. Black, black, green, blue, Dark Petition, get Coalition Victory. Oh my god, I think we did it. Forest, green, no! Are we a mana short? Seriously? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought I did it, but I miscounted. Oh! All right, Transguild Courier, go. 
Now we're very likely dead. We were... Oh, the Dark Petition! We needed one extra mana! Oh, that might be as close as we get. Wow, they, they didn't attack with Gargadon? This, this must mean they restore balance. Oh my god. Well, alright, let's try it. Come on! No restore balance! No restore balance! One time! Oh, we've been trying for so Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the most painful loss ever. We went from a creature of every color and a land of every color to nothing. And then they win with Gargadon. Oh! We have some sideboard action for this deck. Oh, that was so close! So, what do we take out? We probably want Paths. We can go down Explore. Wrath of Gods aren't great. Go down Courier. Dark Petition. Solemn. And one Path. So basically now we want to be essentially the control deck, I think, in this matchup. We're on the Plague. Well, Ancient Grudge is awesome. That's great. We got some Ramp. We can deal with this. Untapped. And Suspend Search for Tomorrow's. We don't have any counters. Counters would be nice, but... Mountain, Border Post. Search, Ticks Down. Let's go Steam Vents, Ancient Grudge, the Border Post. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. And Border Post. Stony Silence would also be a very good draw. Search, let's see. So let's get a Swamp. And then we can Ancient Grudge, kill the Border Post. Misty Rainforest, sack it, get a Breeding Pool, Untapped, and Sakura Tribe Elder. Oh, we're pretty close. Mountain and Gargadon. Ooh, and no Border Post. That's a good sign. Um, I don't even think we have to sack Sakura Tribe Elder yet. Another one. All right, let's attack with Sakura Tribe Elder. Misty Rainforest, crack Misty Rainforest, Island, and then bring to light X5. Blue, black, green, red, and white... So Bring Delight, X5, gets us our... Oh, do we just take our Sliver Hive Lord? We're just going for it. Got the Sliver Hive Lord. We are pretty close. Pass the turn. Gargadon's counting down. We need essentially two turns in one more land. Or ramp spell. Uh-oh. They drew a border post. This means they could have it next turn. Oh, no! Is this really gonna... <laughs> well, drawing a counter also wouldn't be bad. Well, let's attack with both. And I think we just have to pass the turn and essentially bluff a counter. Gets a forest. Oh, they're going to have it this turn. Man, they had a land, another land, and a border post they drew. There's a mountain. Border post? Oh, oh, we're still alive. And they can't do it. All right. Well, hope springs. Uh, eternal. Let's gifts ungiven. Get snapcaster mage. Stony Silence, Cryptic Command. This is our best chance of staying alive. They dump Stony Silence, give us Negate and Snapcaster. All right. Oh, I think we got a shot. I think we got a shot. Saxakura Tribe Elder, an island. We need one more land. Thrag Tusk is not a land. All right. Sakura Tribe Elder, pass the turn. Hope we draw a land. Oh, man. I did not think we were ever going to get this. Forest for our opponent. Our opponent is going to pass. Secure Tribe Elder, sack it, get a forest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not a land. All right, I think we just got to pass. Not attacking with Silver Hive Lord because I really want to win with Coalition Victory. All right, there's Violent Outburst for the Restore Balance. So we negate Restore Balance. And now we still have Snapcaster plus Negate if they have another one. Eventually we'll draw Stony Silence. Or if our opponent taps down and we get a land, we can just slam Coalition Victory and hope for the best. Ardent Plea. Well, this is it. This is it. If we draw a land, we got it. Snapcaster Mage. Targets Negate. Oh, come on. Come on, worth one time a land. If we don't get it here, we might just never get it. We have 26 lands in the deck, so odds are not horrible. Negate the restore balance. Come on, Worth. One time. 
One time. Any not Boseju. Oh, I would cry. That's the only land in our deck that comes into play tapped. Land? Any land except Boseju. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! I think we did it! Oh my god. Green, blue, black, red, white. Oh! We're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! Yes! Oh! It was such a long, hard battle. Oh! Thank god. It's possible. It is not easy at all, but it's possible. Oh, yes. <laughs> Woo. I did not think we were going to get there. I did not think it was going to happen. Oh, my God. Well, we could still win a match. All right. <laughs> One more chance to win a match. Double Thought Seize is not bad. There's Border Post number one. We can actually triple Thought Seize with Snapcaster. And there's Coalition Victory. Windswept Eath, Crack It, Overgrown Tomb, Untapped, and Thought Seize number one. Maybe we let Gargadon go. Let's take Violent Outburst, pass the turn. There's Gargadon. And Border Post. Ooh, and the gate. Well, let's Thought Seize, Demonic Dread, play a tap land. Pass the turn. Negate doesn't stop Gargadon, though. Double Gargadon. So our opponent has nothing in hand except lands? Yeah, I think they have two lands in hand. All right. Well, we are going to have to deal with Gargadons eventually. Uh, Boseju, pass the turn. No sense in flashing back a Thought Seize now. Leave the Gargadon clock up. Opponent passes. Island Goo. Next turn, I think we bring to light for gifts and just hope our opponent didn't draw something to wreck us. Forest. We could try to play conservatively. Maybe we do that. Let's just Sakura Tribelder. If we get one more land, we can bring to light four gifts and leave up Negate. And then there's like no risk. Opponent drew another Violent Outburst. Well, we have a Negate for this. It does mean that next turn, we might as well bring to light. All right, Sacks of Land. I don't know what the point of that was, but I guess they're just trying to get Gargadon down now. Gargadon, down to five, so not that far away. Forest. Dark stealing it. All right. Let's Saxacure Tribe Elder. Swamp, Plains, Island, Forest. Ooh, all right. Taking counters off. They're going to get their Gargadon? Oh, God. They're going to sack out for their Gargadon? Well, I guess I should have waited longer for before I sacked, but... We need a mountain, get the mountain. So we're taking a hit down to four. Well, let's just bring to light X5. Get a Sliver Hive Lord to play defense. And we're actually two two lands away from winning. And our opponent can't restore balance. They're out of cards and out of down to one mana. So they're a long ways away from that. Or from getting the second Gargadon. We can also Snapcaster something. Are we really going to win a match with Coalition Victory? It's seeming possible. So we block. Land? That's a land. Oh my god, we're going to do it. Cast Search for Tomorrows. Let's just double check. Mountain, Forest, Island, Plain, Swamp. All right. Well, so we'll just get an island. Play Steam Vents, tapped. Pass the turn. I think we're... <laughs> We're going to Coalition Victory our way to a match win. We had to run into Restore Balance. I did, I did not know if this was possible, but we're going to do it. We got the win next turn, and I don't think our opponent can interact with it. Opponent passes. <laughs> it's even uncounterable, thanks to Beseju. Mountain, Forest, Island, Swamp, Plains. One, two, and three. Uncounterable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I swear, I was getting really nervous that this was going to be maybe the first against the odds ever where we didn't actually pull off the combo. I guess we kind of did against goblins but they scoop before we could really do it uh we had it in hand but they scooped to a sphinx's revelation so i was by this point getting really nervous that it was just never going to happen so anyway what did we learn this week well 
we learned that coalition victory is super hard to pull off in modern. First off, coalition victory itself uh, requires you to play a lot of crazy things in your deck. You got to be five colors essentially. You got to play five color creatures. Yes, there are other ways to try to cheat on it with like Nylea's presence, or as you saw, uh, the the creatures that we used, uh, Trans Guild Courier. So there are ways to kind of cheat on it, but it's still, it's an eight mana sorcery. It doesn't do anything unless it's winning you the game. And there's a ton of risk. It is really hard to tap out for something that costs eight mana and defend it. So as you saw, we tapped out the first game against Restore Balance and they could respond with the Restore Balance. I, I could imagine that happening with a lot of other things too. Uh, a Lightning Bolt, a Path to Exile hitting our creature. And then all of a sudden, all of this work goes up in flames. So it is it is really hard, and it really warps your deck building. I think our deck was pretty sweet at putting it together. Bring to Light is a really cool addition, even though it can't hit Coalition Victory itself. It gets the five color creatures. It can also get Dark Petition, which can get the Coalition Victory. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of cool things in the deck and things that it can do but still we're devoting eh, seven eight slots of our deck specifically to this coalition victory combo which is really hard to pull off so i don't know it, it was still fun to play and the feeling of accomplishment from actually winning with the coalition victory might be one of the best ones out of the entire against odd series i think the the harder it is to win with a combo, the greater the sense of satisfaction when it happens. But like I said a couple minutes ago, I was getting nervous. I was I was dreading. I was thinking, I'm going to have to edit this video, and it's going to end with all losses. Or maybe the best thing that happens in the entire video is we win, but not because of Coalition Victory. We beat down with Thrag Tusk or, or something. So overall, I don't even care about the odds. The odds are horrible. There's... There's no way the deck can win, but this against the odds is a testament to perseverance. If you keep playing long enough, you will run into Restore Balance. And if you get lucky and they can't Restore Balance you in response to your Coalition victory, you will win. So sooner or later it'll happen. So this one was more about perseverance than it was <laughs> a show of strength. But still, it was sweet. It was fun to play, although it got a little bit... Uh, nerve-wracking at the end, just because I was really dreading having to edit videos and post them against the odds where we never pulled off the combo. That's kind of embarrassing, but I don't know. There's just not a, not a lot of ways to make Coalition Victory good, but it is possible to win with it. The proof is in the videos. Anyway, make sure to check out the website, mtggoldfish.com. Dex prices, metagame strategy, pretty much anything and everything you could want related to Magic the Gathering. And if you enjoyed our extremely painful coalition victory against the odds, take a minute and click the subscribe button on the, and the like button that are about to pop up on the bottom of your screen. It keeps you up to date on all the newest and greatest video content that we're putting out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and bearing with me through these matches. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them, and I will talk to you soon.